Good morning from the mountains in Switzerland. It's actually raining here a little bit. I thought the weather would be better, but I'm going for breakfast and I'll hope this rain is not for a long time because I would not be able to hike to the mountains where I want to. So I had this beautiful night on the farm. I was sleeping in the hay, which is a part of my great experience here. And then uh, breakfast at the farmer's house. They gave me amazing cheese, jam with bread, fresh milk. Wow, that was something. I'm so, so excited. The weather got a little bit better. There are gonna still be kind of rainstorms, but for now I'm going to the lake and it's supposed to be a beautiful hike and then I'm gonna go up that mountain that's behind me and I hope I will not get in a big rain because I don't have much of the rain gear. So my hike starts as a one hour walk to the lake Silpsi where I should see this really beautiful lake and from that lake gonna be an up climb for like 800 meters or something to the mountain above on that side and there are some old church and old cave and probably one of the oldest refuge in the mountain should be very very iconic and beautiful Whew. I'm just looking here I cannot believe that people just live their lives like this in this beautiful nature the color this green color is it's like perfect green color of the grass here where cows goats sheep it's unbelievable the nature here is something and these mountains and fog i just really hope it doesn't rain because from my my jacket is the only rain gear i have with me and just because i didn't have a lot of room in my backpack and wait for the airline to go with the carry-on. I didn't take any warm clothing, so I didn't have any down jackets or anything. I basically just put all of the layers I had and was able to put on me to stay warm. I think it, get, it gets warmer when I start hiking and walking faster, but still it's a little bit chilly. So if you go to Switzerland, take your warm clothing because it's not like warm, hot summer here right now, even though it's August. <music> So yeah, 15 minutes into the hike and it got really hot so I'm just down to the t-shirt and rain jacket. The views here are unbelievable, it's stunning. There is just a little waterfall up there from the cliff. Ooh, I'm just like, I'm speechless, it's so, so beautiful here. I'm not sure what it was, but during the breakfast this morning I heard that the owner was saying something that today they're returning cows from the fields from highlands. So maybe they have some like ceremony in their costumes, the way how they proceed through the village. I'm not sure unfortunately and I wish I can speak German to ask people about it. There's always a problem and the barrier during the traveling that you cannot talk to the people and ask them about traditions and other things that I'm so eager to know about. Whew, I always was saying that if I would ever want to have a superpower, that would be to speak all languages. I 
I got to Sipple Sea Lake. It's stunningly beautiful. It's probably about everything I'm just saying here. Beautiful, amazing, crazy. I need to learn a little bit more words about like fascinating, gorgeous, because I'm out of words to explain how beautiful and cool this place is. I'll do a little loop around the lake. It started raining, just like drizzling a little bit. I hope it will stop and then I will go up there to the top. Also, they said on the map it's like one hour walk from down there to here, but I have been talking to the guys for probably five minutes, so I hiked in 35 minutes, but I was kind of walking fast, sometimes out of breath. So maybe for just like, you know, a slow walk, enjoying that would be a comfortable hour. And then I hope I can run up the mountain faster because they said up the mountain is one hour, 20 minutes. So I hope it's gonna be an hour. I also got recommended that in those houses around there, everybody's like making cheese so I can stop by for some fresh milk and cheese, which I'll try to do right now. And now it's really raining. Hello. Hey, how are you? She didn't want to give me an interview. Let's try the next one. Hello, how are you feeling? They don't want to talk to me. Next one. No, 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 no. I don't need to be hit by you. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. I'll try to go in one of those houses for some milk, cheese, and maybe hot tea. It should not rain for long, but the forecast shows that there are gonna be some uh, heavy showers and storms a little bit later. And I'm lucky that I'm here where I can hide, because if I would be hiking up the mountain, I would just be walking in the rain without any rain gear. So here is the sign of fresh milk. Gonna get some warm fresh milk there. Very good, so sweet and the taste is unbelievable. Like this mountains around. So I just bought some local cheese. The cheese is made here. They sell cheese here. So when no one is here, you just need to ring the bell and they're gonna come and sell you cheese. So I didn't have a lot of cash. I didn't think that I need to have cash, stupid me. But I have the older cheese with the pieces of grass in it. And I have a second fresh cheese. That's cheese from today, actually. This cheese was made today and it's supposed to have very different taste. Uh, it was, how much? So for half of this circle, I don't know how much in the weight it is. It's like six francs and four francs for this piece. It got a little bit colder, probably because I stopped moving a lot. I was just like standing for minutes and looking around and trying to absorb all that beautifulness. That's probably gonna be the most used world in this video. Beautiful. The guy who is playing there is there on the tip of the island. When I took with me swimming shorts, I was actually thinking to swim in this lake, but it's raining and really cold, so not really doing this. But you know what? On a second thought, 
If 20 year old Andrew would hear that what dude you went to Switzerland to a mountain lake and you didn't swim there what a shame and it's really raining anyway so if I'm gonna be wet I'll just better be wet in the mountain lake <laughs> I'm doing that one more time. The water is ice cold. I have like fire on my skin. I just know if I wouldn't do it, I would really regret it later. All of a sudden it got a little bit sunny. And I'm standing here where the guy who played that horn was standing and he's not here anymore unfortunately. Maybe he comes here like every hour or so, uh, but he's not here right now. Too bad. <music> Done with the lake and now I'm going up the mountain. It was like little sun for probably 15 minutes. Now it's raining again, but it cleared out the view. So the mountains like open up completely. There also was a sign on the lake, no drones. So pretty bummed about that. And I hope I will be able to fly it up the mountain if it's not gonna rain. And it rains again. It's gonna be all day like this. Rain stops, rain stops. It's a real shower right now and I have nowhere to hide. I don't think this little tree actually works. <laughs> I think it's not a surprise that it's kind of sunny again. What a weather. They have metal railing at some places, but it's not that bad here for a metal railing, I would say. During the heavier rain, I put the backpack under my raincoat because I realized that I forgot to take my laptop out and I'm hiking with my laptop. <laughs> Ridiculous. Whatever. Just check out this wall behind me. Whew, what a view here. I think I arrived. Look at this little thing. I don't even know how to call it. It's like very little bridge here. That has a nice window with a view. There is also a little cave here, which is a playing room, so no games. found here a much bigger cave. Oh, people do all these things here. 
the stone pyramids. And is there a light? No, I think this is a candle. It's hard to say. You can hike this cave through because I entered at the bottom and when you go up there is exit there. Still raining and I'm almost at the cable car station and I'm gonna take a ride down. I finished my hike at the cable car and right now I'm driving to my Airbnb. I didn't find any like good cheap options around here so I'm going to sleep in Austria. <laughs> yeah it sounds funny but basically it's only 35 minutes from my hike and you know why not the borders are open now so I can just go there. <music> Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, put the thumbs up, put the bell notification to be the first one who sees the new video and into the next one.